Hello everyone, welcome back to Edible Abundance Homestead. I'm Ginger and today is June 3rd. So time has kind of gotten away from me again. I have been very, very busy with strawberry seconds that I've been buying from local farms. I've been freezing them and making jam. I made some strawberry muffins and we have eaten a lot of strawberries. Plus, we've been picking a ton of strawberries from my strawberry patch down there. But last time I showed this end of the garden, as you can see, it's still doing really well. Those are pea plants up above my cattle panels right there. Um, I have harvested peas for a side dish for dinner twice now. There's still tons of blossoms and tons of baby peas on there. Um, those are the sh uh, sugar magnolia peas. We've been sauteing them. Um, I have the shorter peas over here are shelling peas. They are early perfection and Laxton's progress. And so I am letting them grow in the hopes of reaching the point of shelling peas. Now it is getting really hot really quickly here. So we're gonna kind of have to see how that goes. The other problem I'm having is those peas are grow have grown way above the trellis. And we've had some really windy days lately and a couple of them actually did bend over in the wind. Um, not all of them, not a lot of them, just one or two. So I'm just leaving it and there's really not much I can do at this point to help them. Um, the tomatoes in there are still growing great. I added my basil um, on the other side of the trellis and in between where the tomatoes are. Um, and my fall crops are still doing well too. We harvested a head of broccoli. We've been harvesting tons of kale. Um, I think I have some beets ready to be harvested, but I need to get in there and really dig around and look because there are some that are definitely not ready to harvest. Um, we did harvest all the carrots. Um, enough of them were close enough and I needed the space to start putting in summer squash, which I've also put a few summer squash in now. Anyway, um, the lettuce along here, I'm expecting to bolt at any minute because we are having days headed up towards 90. Now, it's only going to be a couple days and then it's going to cool back off, but I'm worried that it's going to be enough that things are going to start bolting. And so I'm hoping to harvest things like my kale and freeze it soon. Um, so anyway, the plan down here, I have planted Kajari melons, delicata squash, I've planted, on this side is noodle beans in the middle, and on the other side is pinto beans, and then the very back one is cucumbers, um, be it alpha cucumbers on both sides, plus a couple nasturtiums thrown in there. Under the arch is some spinach that has bolted, and some bok choy and pak choy that have bolted, um, and some Swiss chard that is doing fine, but also I really need to start harvesting off of it because the leaves are getting huge. Down here we finally planted out our, we did five cantaloupe plants and four watermelon plants and we have one last row of radishes. Um, they are not quite ready. The last row I harvested, the one next to them that was planted about a week before them, quite a few of them were still pretty small but we kind of needed them out of the way so that we could plant out the watermelon. So, switching over to summer, oh, I don't know if I've mentioned the corners of the arches have walking stick kale planted on them. I haven't harvested any of the leaves. Honestly, I kind of am growing them more for fun than for harvest. We'll see how they do. Um, I'd love to see them get really, really tall. Um, so down here in the, what I've been calling the Corona Garden, because this was what I tilled up because I had time to start another garden because we were home so much, I have, see here. These are purple tomatillos, four of them. This one that looks kind of sad. Um, when it was in its pot, the pot fell off the table and it bent. Uh, so I buried it really, really deep when I planted it and I got it down below where it was bent. And at one point I thought it had died and it had kind of wilted and looked really sad and I didn't pull it. And I'm really glad I didn't because it does seem to be starting to bounce back. Um, I really need to move some wood chips out here for a little bit more mulch. I put the straw around the plants, but I want to add some more wood chips in along here. And then down here we have my beautiful row of beans. This is all different kinds of beans. Dragon's Tongue, Blue Lake, um, Black Eyed Pea, and 
pink-eyed pea, pink-eyed purple hull pea, something like that. It has a purple, it definitely has a purple hull. I think it's called pink-eyed. Um, they are doing awesome. They actually, I covered them when we had those few last cold nights. Uh, this one on the end suffered some frost damage and it has, it's bounced back great. I can still see, actually I should get in there and probably cut off a couple of the leaves uh, that still look damaged, but I think it's doing fine. Along the edge here, I planted a few marigolds basically because they were extras that I had. Um, and I'm planning on moving some basil of some sort out here. I realized that I've planted quite a few varieties of basil this year and so I think I'm going to put one out here. In the main garden I planted the cinnamon basil and the Genovese basil and the purple basil. They were all the biggest plants, basil plants that I had. They were the ones I started first. I have Thai basil started and I have holy basil started. They are not that big yet, but when they are one of them, probably the Thai basil will come out here and the holy basil will go in the little tea medicinal garden area that I'm doing. Um, my blackberry plants are also doing awesome and you can see there are a ton of blackberries on there. So hopefully they've grown out of my little bird netting quite a lot. Hopefully that's not a problem. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm also noticing they're sending shoots like runners into the lawn over there which with the raspberries I took advantage of that and I transplanted these out here. Um, I don't know that I really have a good place that I want to transplant blackberries so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, I might just either dig them out and see if anyone wants them or just mow them down. We'll see. The raspberries that I transplanted are doing wonderfully. I'm really, really excited for all these raspberries. As you can see, they need some weeding. Um, I pretty much, once I transferred all these wood chips out here, I really haven't done anything else. So I think they're definitely due for some weeding and I might, I still have plenty of wood chips left, so I might add another layer of wood chips out here. Now the last thing I'm gonna show, I'm all the way out at the corner here. So um, this corner was wild and overgrown and crazy. And you can see it has these like hunks of like concrete, cement, something. There's junky plasticky stuff under here. We think when they built the development behind us that at some point in the construction stuff got thrown in this corner, probably before the fence was put up and then they just left it here. So um, we're going to try to get it kind of cleaned out. But for the time being, I at least wanted to get it cleared out enough so that my pumpkin, acorn squash, and other pumpkin plant had somewhere that they could go. Um, we were also concerned as these plants grew back in here, harvesting would be difficult and it would be dangerous that there could be snakes in there and that sort of thing, things living in there. And while we don't get many venomous snakes around here, I mean, any snake will bite. So we don't really want to have an environment that they want to live that we need to get into. Um, so these guys to attempt to avoid um, the vine borers, I wrapped to the bottom with foil and I sprinkled DE around them. So hopefully that helps. I did the same thing last year with my summer squash and I did it with the summer squash that are out now too. And it seemed to slow the vine borers down, but I don't think it really stopped them completely. Um, but I wasn't really consistent with adding more DE. I am not sure how much it's e that's even going to help, but it's worth a try. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to keep DE on them and I'll keep an eye for the, um, you know, it's a moth that lays like an egg on the vine. I'm going to keep an eye out for it, but We'll just see how it goes. I kind of am considering this another, just kind of another bonus area. Um, if I can get a couple, maybe half a dozen pumpkins out of there and some acorn squash, I'll be happy. Um, last year, a volunteer pumpkin plant next to the chicken run produced, I think, three pumpkins. And that was great. So if I can get that much out of these plants, I'll be happy with that too. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to try to start showing everything in every video because I want to keep track of how things are growing and changing and um, 
at this point things are growing and changing so quickly that I don't take enough videos to keep up with it. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.